What's good? What's good? I'm back. It's Paul Pickett, owner of Promo Palace LLC. Um, this one right here is going to be called Vlog 33, How to Stand Out in the Music Business. Vlog 33, How to Stand Out in the Music Business. Before we get started, I'm going to sip some of my juice. Hit that click down subscribe button. Don't forget, the video version goes to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Audio version of my vlog also goes to my podcast, the Paul Pickett Podcast, which is available on Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, Apple, Google, Stitcher, TuneIn, Slacker, iHeartRadio, and a dozen other platforms. You can Google Paul Pickett Podcast. Vlog 33, um, how to stand out in the music industry. Number one, advertise. That would be number one, advertise. Um, I mean, I just Googled it. Spotify literally has about 40,000 songs being uploaded per day. So that's roughly um, 1.2 million in a month. If you honestly think just making music and uploading it to a platform is going to make you, your music or make you stand out from 1.2 million songs a month, I mean, you're sadly mistaken, man. It's fairy tales, imaginary. It's bogus. So number one to stand out would be to advertise. And I always tell people, depend, you know, depend on your budget. If you don't have a big budget, pick one platform to advertise on. And if I was to say what I would advise that platform to be, I would say YouTube. Advertise on YouTube. You know, if you have a bigger budget, advertise on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, etc. You know, but number one would be advertise. If you're not even advertising, how you how's your music gonna stand out amongst forty thousand songs per day, per day? So by the end of the week, you're competing with. Two almost a quarter of a million songs by the end of the week, you know. So, number one will be advertising. Number two, pay Instagram or TikTok influencers to promote your music with their content. That would be my number two thing. Pay TikTok influencers, pay Instagram influencers, pay influencers in general. So number one, this is how to stand out is advertising. Number two, we got pay influencers. And, you know, depending on your budget, you got you go after what influencers you can afford. But I can tell you TikTok influencers are getting very, very great results, very good results. You know, I've had a post go 29,000 views when I only had 100 followers on my TikTok account. You know, so the algorithms of TikTok are – are totally different, and a lot of these TikTokers that are big on TikTok are also popping on Instagram, or they got a nice follow on Instagram and YouTube as well. Some of them have a little, you know, you could promote down the line with them. You can promote on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, you know. So, number one, advertise. Number two, pay influencers. Um, number three would be press. Um, do some press on your your project, and I don't mean like post it to music blogs. I mean like press actual um, news outlets, music news outlets, and news outlets. So you you probably want to do a press release. You know that would be like number three for me, like a press release. And you probably should always include a press release. Anytime you're dropping music, you should always do a press release, especially if you want to get picked up on um, Spotify's algorithms. You got to have press. And I don't mean just music blogs. I mean actual press, news sites, Google News, Yahoo News, Bing News, things like that, of that nature. Um, number four would be stop... Um, doing the typical music videos everybody always does the typical music videos like number four would be concept concept your music videos that would be number four for me actually concept your music videos like Jonah lucas would concept them like you know it 
this idea that you, you're, you're going to stand out doing the same thing as everybody else, you know, just renting a bunch of cars, a bunch of bad chicks in there, bunch of jewelry, bunch of money flowing around. Um, I mean, you're going to stand out. I mean, you're going to stand out from some people doing that. You're going to stand out from the ones that definitely don't have a budget and, and you could tell that don't have a budget but you're not standing you're not really standing out from anybody mainstream and that's the that's the thing nowadays you gotta you typically want to stand out from all the up-and-coming artists and you want to stand out from what's going on with mainstream so concepts of your music video um Five, antics, controversy. Controversy sells. Antics entertain people. It keeps it keeps people in the news. You know, this idea that all these rappers in the music business are winning solely off of their music is bogus. Some of these guys wouldn't be making it without the pink and purple and green hair. You know, some people, some of these guys wouldn't be making it without the antics. You know, some of these guys wouldn't be making it without the street creds. You know, um, some of these guys wouldn't be making it, you know, if they didn't do crazy stuff to stand out. You know, they didn't stay in the news, you know, going to jail or whatever it may be. Like, controversy and antics it stands out and and yes the results could be bad depending on the antics and the controversy you bring to the table you know every action has a reaction but controversy and antics um your image your image um i mean do you look confident do you look like a confident artist does your image stand out you know there's so many things that you know, like the pink and purple hair, the Kodak Black's hair. Like part of that is why people are buying into them. The fact that he went to jail, the fact that he just does crazy, stupid stuff. To some people, it's entertaining. That's the thing. All these things are part of entertaining. If you think you're going to entertain somebody solely off of the music and keep them there, I mean, that's J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. and That's it, man. Everybody else has got to do a lot of extra stuff, you know, and it might be having wearing more jewelry than the next man, you know. Yeah, it's not original wearing a lot of jewelry, but rappers that got a lot of jewelry tend to stand out from the rappers that don't or musicians that have a lot of jewelry tend to stand out from the musicians that don't. You know, the richer you look, the more you stand out. Even if you aren't really rich, the richer you look, the more you stand out. So there's just so many things that go into play of standing out as an artist. Are you advertising? Are you pitching to? Are you promoting it with the influencers? Are you doing press? Um, is your music videos? Are you concepting them different than everybody else's? Is your image anything about your image stand out? Are you, do you look weird? Do you dress weird? Uh, do you dress rich? Look rich? Do you look crazy? I mean, weirdos always stand out. Uh, antics. Do you go into South by Southwest wearing a diaper like the baby? You know, are you doing antics like Takashi Six Nine? Are you doing those kind of things? Those kind of things stand out. I can clearly tell you, Takashi Six Nine doesn't get to where he's at solely off of the music. If he doesn't have a crazy looking image, rainbow looking hair. All these and he's got all these different things he's doing to stand out. He's damn near going to jail. He's snitching on people. He's got controversy, antics, beef. His image looks weird. He's got a lot of things going on for why he would stand out from a lot of other people. So this idea that unless you're just making you know, you're Murray and you're making an instant hit. You know, and the only reason Murray stands out is because his 
he doesn't he's not doing what everybody else is doing like his sound is is the the poor man's Fayetteville struggle music you know the struggle music and pain and, and emotions it's not shoot them up bang bang i sell drugs you know i get chicks i bone chicks i'm popping mollies all this that and the third you know originality originality you could stand out you could stand out with originality but originality doesn't just mean your flow is original your sound has to be original that means your your production your beats Everything has to be original. This idea that you could just be original artist, like you could just rap original or sing original, the music, background music itself has to be an original sound. Like when Mob Deep came out, nobody had a sound like Mob Deep. Nobody had a sound like Mob Deep. You know, they had a specific sound. DJ Premier, he had a sound that he mastered. That was his sound. And when people make beats nowadays, they'd be like, oh, that sounds like a Premier beat because they know that's, he originated that sound. So there's so many, there's, there's well over a half a dozen things that go into you standing out, you know? So, your, I mean, your music has to be greater than the next man's and, 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 and 40,000 other songs every day. Your image has to stand out. It can't be just basic. Your concepts of your your videos need to stand out. Um, just everything about you, man, needs to stand out past the music. And for for different folks, different strokes. Some people stand out for the antics. Some people stand out for the image. Some people just st totally stand out because they just make great music or greater music. But this idea that everybody's making instant hits that everybody's making great music stop it stop it there's levels to this shit every business has levels to this shit some people might think they on a level that they're not but you know you could think you're on whatever level you want to think you're on until you're on that level you ain't on that level you know but um this is vlog 33 how to stand out in the music industry and once again we got to stop thinking that the music itself dictates everything that talent dictates the music industry we're not in the talent business we're in the entertainment business so you have to do things to stand out to be entertaining what the baby did at at rolling loud trust me his antics his antics is the reason why he's trending on social media like crazy right now even though he trends all the time you know but his antics got him extra trending and extra extra standing out you know little nas x little nas x video his video is controversial it's so controversial this idea that little nas x's song is totally standing out because of the song is bogus. It's the music video being as controversial as it is. He pushed the envelope and pushed the button further than I've seen anybody push it in hip hop with this controversy of, you know, the um, the homosexual and gay world. You know, like he pushed those topics and so far further than anybody I've ever seen like so it's standing out amongst everybody he's number one I mean he's a he's a genius on marketing himself in a way that stands out because you know like the music like this idea that you're making hit records that like he's making the the old town road hit record over and over again no he hasn't made a song as good as that since but i'm not saying not saying none of the songs have been good since but they had not been as great as that first single and typically it's like that you got that one single that's just superior to the rest it is hard to recreate and and remake that so you got to do extra things to stand out man in this industry even if you keep making good music after that you still it's not good it's not great you made a great song 
even Moray, all his songs from the first since the first one have been good, but they're not great. They're not, you know, they're not quicksand. None of his other songs are quicksand. It, he might not never make another quicksand, and that's fine, because quicksand is a great song. But he has to, you know, he has to. Why he's making good music, he has to make sure he stands out, and and for him, it's really originality. Being original, not sounding like everybody else. And that's another thing. If you sound like everything else out there and you expecting to stand out amongst 40,000 songs per day and you sound like everything else out there, you better have all those other things I was talking about going for you, you know, because we're in the entertainment business. We're not in the talent business. I repeat we are in the entertainment business. We are not in the talent business. Stop it, musicians, thinking that this is the talent business. It is not a talent search. The music business is not a talent search. It is a search for artists who are going to be able to have an established fan base or who already have an established fan base. And just because you're talented doesn't mean you have fans right now, and it doesn't mean you will have a ton of fans. You know. Once again, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Um, hit the click now, subscribe button in the right-hand corner. Don't forget, if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook, hit the follow. The audio version of my vlogs goes to my podcast, Paul Pickett Podcast. You can Google that. It's also available on Apple, Spotify, Google, Deezer, Amazon, TuneIn. Stitcher, Slacker, iHeartRadio, uh, Podchaser, Podcast Attic, and a dozen other platforms as well. Don't forget, my podcast drops three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The vlogs are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and Sundays is relax time. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep pumping them out, um, to trying to come up with all types of marketing topics, you know, most of marketing topics will be related to promoting music. Some will be just promoting brands in general. But, yes, once again, um, I want to thank you for tuning in. My name is Paul Pickett. Uh, check out my website, promopalace.biz. Also, check out newlitter.com, um, New Litter Apparel. Got the T-shirt on right now. Uh, we got hoodies, and we got uh, bandanas for your dog. Also, for Shizzle, let me shout out one of my favorite brands, the Dizzle Dizzle Brand Liquor. Um, check them out, DizzleBrand.com. They're, they're uh, a cognac and um, like a Gavi uh, tequila mix with, um, with the mango um, margarita mix and a lime crisp. But uh, check them out at DizzleBrand.com. Follow them on Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, uh, Paul Pickett Podcast on Facebook and YouTube, and it's Paul P Podcast on Twitter. Also, follow my TikTok at Promo Palace LLC. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I'm out. Peace.